Hi, this is Mike Canny again, and what we're going to do today is take a look at the recently released uh, Cascade Pilot 3.0. And in the last video that I did, an article I did on Love My Tool, uh, we, we examined a, a 5 gig trace, and I explained kind of a story on, on how a customer had sent me this 5 gig trace and was able to open it very quickly, be able to navigate through that 5 gig trace. Uh, very rapidly and for most people they would consider that a, a pretty big trace file uh, but one of the things I've, I've been wanting to do for quite a while is really put pilot through its paces and test this product out with an insane size trace file so what I've done here is you can see I've got a couple of trace files loaded up here and this one called big old trace times two is my insane trace file so one of the things we can do here is if I right click on this and I'm going to say browse containing folder, you can see that this trace file is 100 gigabytes. Right? So not 100 megs, 100 gig trace file. Now, again, this would crush, I don't know what a, any other analyzer out there that could actually open this, sort through it, uh, let alone do it as quickly as I can do it in pilot. So again, typically you're not going to look at 100 gig trace. Um, sometimes I look at very large traces, 25, 50 gigs and up, uh, from my network forensic uh, application capture device that I've built using DumpCap and, and Wireshark. But typically most people aren't going to look at 100 gigs. But I really wanted to create this video and really wanted to test out and see what Pilot could actually do. Now, one of the things you'll notice here, again, if you're a Pilot user, uh, I did index this trace, right? So that took roughly about three to four minutes to in index this uh, 100 gig trace. Um, but, you know, typically what we would do is we, you know, one of the things we might want to look at is what was my bandwidth over time? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this bandwidth over time view and just drop it on top of this 100 gig trace. And one of the things you can see is it opens up in less than a second, right? And I can see that this trace was about 52 minutes um, we're looking at one minute intervals but what we can see here again is what my throughput was you know my bandwidth over time for that 52 minutes again I'm looking at this uh, in in one large chunk um, but one of the other things you might want to do with a trace file like this is you know what was in it you know what type of applications were consuming the bandwidth here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this next view network usage by traffic type and drop that on top of the trace now one of the things you can see again very very quick on this 100 gig trace we can see that the majority of this traffic is, as I mouse over this is Microsoft networking now what I did again is to, to get this 100 gig trace is I, I uh, took my capture to disk appliance in my lab and just started capturing uh, file transfers, right? So to, to try to get this trace as big as uh, I thought would, would be an insane number, which 100 gig trace is pretty insane. Uh, we can see again here, the majority of this traffic is is uh, the SIFS traffic. You see I've got a little bit of IPv6, uh, some routing traffic, some uh, unrecognized ports, uh, as well as some web traffic. Now, one of the things I may want to do is zoom into a specific time range, right? Because we're looking at 52 minutes. Say a user calls in and complains that, you know, the quote unquote network is slow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to time control and maybe I'll focus in on this spike, right? So I've selected that spike. Now what I'm going to do is say zoom to selection. So you can see we've got now a much more granular view here um, for this specific file transfer. And maybe a user called in and complained that, um, you know, at, at uh, a certain time that things were slow. And again, I could zoom in even deeper here uh, to this little spike. And, you know, the next thing I might want to know is who's talking. Right? So I'll take this IP conversations, drop that on top of the slice, and now I can see a breakdown of the devices that are talking. Right? And here we can see between these two IP pairs, we had 194.18 megs of traffic um, you know maybe this is the time things were slow this is the time you know we might want to analyze that so one of the really cool things is I can right click on this and say send that to Wireshark now this is still going to send a pretty big trace file to Wireshark but as you can see here in the video uh, again of my uh, file transfer uh, this thing is just ripping right so what I've done again is I've gone from this 100 gig trace 
to look at what applications we're consuming the bandwidth to maybe a, a point in time where the problem was occurring, right clicking on just that point in time and sending the packets off to Wireshark to analyze. Thank you very much and uh, we'll catch you next time.